All right, guys, Phil here at the uh, Dry Ice Regional in uh, Germany with 290 players and our uh, well known player uh, over here, uh, Joshua, made uh, what place exactly? I made 22nd 20 second, 20 second place. So you went X2, right? Yes, I went X2, but I had the worst time break possible. Okay. Because now, uh, the 23rd person had like only 20 points and I had 21 points. So my tie break was just bad. So I would have been like at least top 16 with a better tie break. Okay, sounds interesting. Let's see the list. You played dinos, I see. <laughs> I played dinosaurs, but not true king's dinosaurs. So no twist. <laughs> yeah. I just played Shadow Dancers because I think they are more versatile this format because they don't need to go first. I played Triple Conductor. I played two for the most time, but it's just great to play the three. The Pancratops is amazing going second, it's good in Draco matchup. Two Cradlers because I really like the option to summon the Cradlers to negate spells or traps against every deck that plays spells and traps and sometimes you can shuffle fi five banished dinosaurs to get a little bit of grind game. The only reps are not going to stay there. Three miscellaneous souls, one giant box and one Turek Aeolo. I play Turek Aeolo because if you play this every miscellaneous souls is another extender so you can link climb and stuff into stuff. Okay. Then for Dark Monsters, Dragon Beast and Gizmo. Oh, actually, Gilwarshi. Okay, nice. Yeah. It's just good. If you can send Cradlers to the grave, if you have a Raptor, you can just send this with Shadow Fusion to the graveyard. And it's just okay then. I messed up once because I activated Shadow Fusion first and could have summoned Conductor and could have killed him in this turn. But I lost the game. I bought I won the other two games, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> So that's some monsters? Yeah, Phantasmae. Three Phantasmae, it fixes your hand. I play a lot of some bricks and it's good to shuffle them back. And there's another beater on the field and it's really good against the Striker matchup. Three elves, because they are the best hand in this format. They are just really versatile. And it stops horror, what's the biggest part? Then the last hand trip I played is DD Crow. Which also stops horror. Yes. <laughs> It can suck when they have another extended because then they just play through it like normal. But it's just really well so because they are good in every matchup. So they also good in, have they have the application against Thunder. You can banish the fusion, so it's not completely dead in this matchup. But the Thunder matchup is good anyways. Then three pills to some conductor, Pancro tops or Cardless. Fossil Lake for the consistency. Shadow Fusion because it's extremely good against every matchup that uses some cards. So you blind X2. second? Yes, blind second. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. I can also summon like some stuff going first, but it's not like that impressive. I can summon Dreller with Cardless or Dolka with Cardless, but that's it. Then the Mind Control, just because they're amazing going second right now. And Foolish Bureau. That's your main fun. deck? Yes. How many cards? 41. 41. The third contact was the, the last card, but it was all it was fine. Then to the extra deck, I played three rank fours: Lagia, Dolka, and Vela. I think not, there's something I did explain there. Underclock because he helps out the king. Phoenix and Hita because Aeolo is fire. So if you can use your miscellaneous source as an extender, you can just some heater and extend further. And you can also search miscellaneous source with her if she's destroyed, which came up sometimes. Then be nice because every like every monster in my deck has level seven, I, se, level seven or higher. Unicorn and also for the cane. Then launch a bell. So you oh, the classic. <laughs> If you have miscellaneous souls over and over Raptor and your opponent has no monster on the field, it's OTK because it's exactly 8100 damage. One Shikinaga and two Winder. Then for Super Pole targets, these two. I think I tried playing 
less greener, but it wasn't that good. I think this is fine. So you're satisfied with your extra choices? I think it was fine. I don't I never missed anything. Alright. Except maybe Gustav Marx sometimes, yeah. but I couldn't fit it in. And for the side deck, three lands here, because they are amazing against Orcus and Thunder. Nibiru, if, because if they let me go first, I side decent. Because I just want to survive the turn and then kill them the next turn. And this pretty much stops every OTK. Super polymerization against every matchup that's just amazing. And then three Cosmic Sun Theme against Becker heavy matchups. Because Draco is like the worst matchup possible. I lost in run, round one to Draco, <laughs> and that's probably the reason why I have such a bad tiebreak. But that was fine. The only card I would miss was probably like the dinosaur that can burn for 1000, so I could have an option for time. But this really com only comes up in the striker matchup because this matchup is, it takes a while. Yeah, but I can see yeah. that. I know, didn't miss anything in the side deck except maybe this dinosaur. That's it with the deck. Anything yes. last words? Shout out to Battle Beer Kaiser Slaughter and yeah. Alright, thank you for the profile. See you next time. Yeah. Bye.